what is going on guys bcd here back with another quick video and today we will be talking about the steel series 7x uh, this is the series x headset from steel series and basically i'm going to be talking to you guys about why i believe this is the only gaming headset that you'll need for all your gaming consoles um, but before i do that don't forget to like and subscribe and especially if you enjoy the video so with that out the way let's get right into it um, the headset is to me it fits the build of an all-arounder it's like the lebron james of headsets this headset works with the ps5 the xbox series x the pc nintendo switch android ps4 xbox one x and even the google stadia controller not sure how long that's going to be around but it works with all of that and it's all wireless so the headset has a pretty simple dongle switch uh, that goes from USB to Xbox, allowing for quick changes with no tinkering um, with any software or anything like that. The definition of plug and play. So the headset is selling out and it's selling out for a reason. This is the only headset within the lineup of current steel series that can do that. Basically, um, the 7P that came out alongside of it, it cannot work with the Xbox leaving a little bit to be desired if you can think especially when the 7p costs the same amount how does that make sense you ask it doesn't the company just decided to do it so i wouldn't advise buying the 7p unless you're just a dedicated playstation fan it works with everything outside of the xbox but why not just get the 7x where it works with everything even the ps5 in general so up to you to decide it's a cool colorway for the 7p but i'm paying the same amount of money i want all this fame functionality that the other one can have and so i'm gonna go with the 7x each time uh so what is so great about the headset if you have owned a steel series in the past then you should be aware of how great the sound quality is it's very clear audio i use a lot of headphones and tend to run back to the steel series for comfortability battery life durability i still own a headset i purchased three years ago and it still works great uh the biggest concern you would more than likely have is the stretch on the band wearing out and and if that's really the biggest problem that you have i will take that no sound quality drops never been a fan of voice speaking in the headsets you know the whole battery off bluetooth connected all of that is really not great to hear in your ear especially when i tend to leave my volume up past 50 percent. so all this really does is it just beeps in your ear and you're ready to go so as soon as you turn it on it gives you a solid beep letting you know it's on and then you're ready to go i always hated those sounds that they kind of put a robot in your ear and it's very loud especially if it's based off the volume you left it at um, the volume controls can be manually adjusted on the side of the ear cups, even giving you the ability to mix game and chat audio on the fly. So if you got a low speaking friends that you barely can hear, you can adjust it to kind of make them boost that sound. And if you got obnoxiously loud ones, you know, you have that friend, uh, you can also boost the game audio and lower them. So great quality of life feature instead of having to jump into your system settings to adjust it manually. So this may not necessarily matter to you, but one of the biggest problems I have had with the previous headset is that they would automatically power down even though audio is playing. Mostly due to how I run my game audio through my PC for my setup, this headset has not given me that issue basically. The headset does detect when you know like the source device is off and auto shuts down, but the standby time is so great they have the ability to not be as aggressive and still provide great battery life. I tried using my Corsair headset for the same way and it would just automatically shut down constantly due to how the audio was running through. A digital audio mixer and the headset couldn't understand that the audio was being played because it was not selected as the audio playback device on the PC through my but through my mixer. So it just it just would not play to me, you know, the sounds and it was just cut off and it was very annoying. But rant over back to the stuff you care about this device does not have any bluetooth features i really enjoy being able to hear if calls come through so if you are someone that wants that functionality you may want to look elsewhere or check out the steel series 9x 
I would caution that option though by saying that there has been reports of audio loss when using the Xbox system, plus um, it's only compatible with the Xbox PC and mobile, not any, anything else. So no Nintendo Switch, no PlayStation, it's just Xbox and PC. Uh, I would also like to give a nod to or mention to spatial sound support. This headset sounds great on both the Xbox Series X and PS5 with their spatial sound, you know, implementations, I would call them. I exclusively use that as my sound profile when not streaming. It even tops the $100 Pulse headset for me uh, that comes with the, well, not, not come with the PS5, but came alongside as an accessory for the PS5. So it has great battery life, works wirelessly with every major console, and provides great build and sound quality. What does this mean? This means, my friend, that you really ain't going to go wrong with buying this headset. This is the only headset you will need to buy from a purist gaming standpoint. If you want something Bluetooth, look elsewhere. But with the no loss in audio, it's a welcome sacrifice to not have Bluetooth, in my opinion. Uh, with that being said, the device is $150, and I do think it's worth every penny. I have been using it for quite a while, and I use it daily. I just really love this headset. Um, and I just really love when a product's price matches the actual quality. I think this is a great match for the price, and I think that it does so much uh, for the price that you can't really go wrong with this one. So what do you guys think about the headset? Do you think you do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think that it's worth the money? Do you think it should be cheaper? I personally, again, I think it's well worth the money. Um, do you think that there's a different headset out there that may be a better fit? Uh, you can complain about how you have the best headset down in the comment section below. But before you do, if you found any of this information helpful or enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the comments. And as always, peace.